just minding my business on TikTok. Timi nyako na 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 iku susere yao nyako unaitwa nyako unaitwa nyako unaitwa na nikawauliza naitwa na nani? Eh? Ju, I tried looking for Sonko. Sonko I, I was nini? Alikuwa na ring. Nikawajana na hii maneno ya kufuatana na mamuma watu watu wako kwa gava. Eh? Nyako, unaitwa? Nyako kuja tu. Kuja. Nyako excuse, nitatoka, nitaonana tena siku nyingine. All the best and I wish you all strength. Yeah, thank you. Moves on your shoulder. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um Nikasema mimi si, si wachi ile kitu ninafanya as ninaenda kwa live ya mtu. What I did, nikafungua live ya pili with my second account. Nichungulie huyu ni nani? Na anataka nini? Eh? Na anaenda wapi? When I arrived, my friend, I froze. Cute. I froze. What I ile kuringa nilikuwa na ringa naambia huyo ni nani? Sijui nini. Nikaanza kujibembeleza. Niko hapa. Niweke. Naweka tule tu vitu tu red kubwa kubwa. I'm here. Ndio huyu mimi. <laughs> Hata hiyo video ina nini? Ina trendishwa hapa the first day I met Mwesh. Baby girl. Eh? And that is the day I said, e, 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 sikuna watu wameumbika hapa hivi. Hii hii mali ni ya mtu. Hii mali yote ni ya mtu. <laughs> And since that day. Since that day. Guys. Imagine when I went to Kenya, nilitoa ring nikawacha kwa kabati. Hata ring imepotea. Ya pilot imepotea. Nikaenda nikajipendekeza we bibi ya Mwesha alikuwa na lala hivi. Isikivi <laughs> afadhali. <laughs> Ile siku tulienda nini? Tulienda party ya meet and greet we mwesha alifuwa mapema twende tunaenda nyumbani eh. since that is the last day i saw muhesh no 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 that was not the last day kuna siku i sneaked into his office hmm? that is the last the last good time i, I had with muhesh nikaka kwa ofisi yake mpaka very late tunapiga tu story za jaba story ya ziko But the chemistry was clear that we like each other. Mtu wa kumake move ndio shida. Yule mtu wa kusema hey look nakupenda. What are we going at, going to do about this situation? Ndio shida. But the chemistry is there. Yes. The, the chemistry is there from both sides. Sio kwangu pekee. So msinilete. Kwa mamu wake amefika hapo angalia. Amefika kutoka wapi? Kutoka kwa Not funny na na ukumbuka unafanya nini tali yake ikoma na ulikuwa unataka kupanda jua asubuhi koma kabisa not funny what sasa tusikike huyo tali yake anafanya nini koma uko hapo unasikiliza nini kama na watu wanaongeanga ukweli kama mimi wanaogopa ukweli si tulikuwa tumetoka huko tena ikajileta sasa tutadu tuliji accept na tukatoka sasa tutadu Makosa si ya president. Yes. Bibi ya Mwesh ni beautiful. But what is wrong with having a, an ugly wife besides him? Ugly, beautiful, <laughs> makes a good match. Hm? Sasa tutashindana tu kutandika mkeka. Huko ndio tutashindana. Unajua kupiki Saudi zote nyako. Eh, huko ndio tutashindana kutandika mkeka. Nani anatandika vizuri? Mwesha yuko hapa. Mhm. Ayuko. Nyako respect somebody's husband. Sasa hiyo ndiyo gani tena? <laughs> It, love is so beautiful. It doesn't hurt. Yawa. Kwani nataka kumkata kidogo kidogo ni mpike ni mkule. Uh, the heart I want, wants I just want to feel the same love they are having. I just want to And then to end to what it wants. Sasa kufungu. Yeah. Eh. Sasa ukienda kwa kontinental na yako. Eh? Mtapata na Mwesha ukienda home. Definitely. 
Yes. Ah, nice one. Eh. Yeah. Kama ni wako mfungie basi, mfungie nyumba na kamba asionekane basi. Akili kuna mwingine atachukua. Mm -mm, it's not. My haters are gonna hurt burn. Keep burning. Simu eza na nita baby girl. Kama na kuta kuta kwa vizuri baby girl. Alafu na blush. Ah, smile. Na nyako smile at your dimples. Mambo kuisha. Karibu sana businessman. Businessman Auka. Guten Morgen. President. Guten Morgen, Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, Kure. And Koko. Where can you put an Anaros? Ukwapa. I can look at the profile of work. I look at the profile of work. No, no, no. I put it on my other profile. Nikona Nini account. Niki Weka Zote, it and confused which is which. Every account you can profile. Yeah, you. Ikona, ikona, ikona kuna 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 the team, the cabinet. Hey, hey. Habari zenu. Muzuri, Diane Rose. Eh, European Atieno. Sasa mi intasimama upande gani. Kwa niti? Ata na shinu intasimama upande gani. Sa ingine, you put me in a difficult situation. I don't know where to stand on this one, my dear. Why? Hmm? Why? Why? Because me, I know the difficulties that come with polygamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, there are so many challenges that come with polygamy, especially you being a Lua and you understand what happens in, in our culture with polygamy and just as African women, yes. how, how there are so many uh, problems that come with polygamy. Yeah, so, but you know what, in my case, I'm going to be a modern co-wife who is never there, you know, so... I know it brings a lot of there's jealousy involved, there's a lot involved with Lakini mwana ume aki nipenda tufanye nini. Ni kwetu girlfriend, concubine. No, me I think that you're a person who deserves to have someone of your own. No, it's not possible. We on the attack. Ame kwambia na kutaka. Ewe unajua aji. Nimeuliza watu wa nyako. Sijazima ah, chinajua. Unajua simbile. Iyo wachana na yu. <laughs> okay. Ni hey. wachana baby girl. Yeah. Nimeumona nime baby girl lakisumbuka sana. Hata sura yake na chikina. Hey, Nimeumona baby girl. Baby girl. Na kwa kipandishwa. 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 Diana, oh, okay, drop me down. Drop me down, alafu ni rudi. Diana, kona eko. Nyako, mina shuka, acha ni freshen up. Na ulikuja hapa kufanya nini? Sinilikuja kukusalimi. Ah, okay. Okay, pukle saa uka. Uka the business man. Au ah ni merudi au ka the businessman. I only I only sub I only subscribe to one wife. So mimi maneno ya do sitaki kujiingiza. Yeah, it's complex. <laughs> it's complex. It has a lot of its challenges. Anyway, nyako ulikuwa unaniuliza swali. Niulize. Um 
What is wrong with falling in love with a married man? I mean, falling in love is not wrong. The thing is, getting involved with a married man is where now the complicated... The problem is... Yes, because falling in love is something you can't control. We, yes. we, we meet people, we see people that sometimes we find ourselves attracted to, and they may also be attracted to us. But as adults, we have to make decisions that are going to be good for us. So you guys are con 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 convincing me ni atale na muesh, ni endele na maisha yangu. Mina ku convince as Diana, you choose what is not going to give you more complications in your life. I just friend. want to keep Mwesh as a friend. Nothing more. Na kama na izapitia hiyo mjulu spia kidogo, shida iko wapi? Wewe ni mzima. Wewe utakuwa 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 responsible for your actions at the end of the day. Biblically, biblically polygamy is discouraged and uh, according to the for instance the doctrines of the Seventh Day Adventist Church whoever has got more than one wife should not serve the church as a lead. Hmm? When somebody is in love, they don't listen, they don't care. Hata kama ni nyundo inapigwa kwa kichwa yake, haski, itapita tu. Yako, are you in love? Are you in love? Hi. Um, no, I can say that. I don't know. Nilijaribu kukatia nyako hapa kakata, peke yangu. Kijana barbaru. There are a lot of men who want to be that I don't want to. <laughs> I'm against that. 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 I'm against the true real love does not come with complications yeah true love true love is free true love makes you do whatever you want to do without being afraid or looking behind your back so you need to know when love is love and you need to differentiate between infatuation and love because there is a danger to it so it is infatuation. Yes, it is infatuation, and there are dangers that come with it. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, so you have to that wait as an adult. You choose if you're going to be willing to, to get in danger, and sometimes the danger is something that you may not recover from. So you need to be very aware of that. That is very true, 100%. Yeah. Uh, so, Diana, and what is this? Eh, lost ribia, lost ribia mtu yuko kwa uyo married person. Because some married people wako in a very toxic relationship. And when you end up going inside the relationship, unapata uyo ndo alikuwa mtu wako, ni venye tu alikuwa mefungu. Ata kama ni mtu wako, if he really mm -hmm. loves you, he needs to do the right thing and make him, makes himself single. And you should not be the reason why. No, 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 that's wrong. Right. That See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This idea ya watu kusema rib, 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 kitu gani. Sasa kama mtu mwenye alikuwa rib wako wamekufa, utafanya aje. You cannot find another rib. Tap, tap, tap the screen, guys. Tap, tap, tap. Utakaibo because ati rib yako ilisha enda uko chini, ama ni nini. But you know, you know, you know, you know, Dana, most of the time, most of whatever is going on is uh, more of infatuations and lust. Because once you, you go to that... Uh, sexual intercourse una, una, unajulizanga sasa uh, nilikuwa napenda uju ya nini like you don't don't even see the any other reason you know yeah but imagine sa ingine unaanza kurealize there is no reason why you are involved kama umesha kuwa involved na matope ma, ma kakupaka uka struggle and then now you can't get yourself out of it so usually as Englishmen always say prevention is better than cure and I'm gonna tell yeah. you this yeah, I'm going to tell you this as a leader yeah, and as a... Yes? What if both parties are, are involved? Let's say Nyako and Muhesh, maybe they have feelings for each other. mutual feelings. So... The fact that you both are lustful for each other does not make it right. 
You can both you can you can both be murderers does not make you people good people. You can both be thieves. It doesn't make you good people. The fact that only one person is a thief does not make it at different at sasa nyinyi ni wawili. Last yeah, but now what what I realized when I was in Kenya the short time I was there eh uh, most didn't even have a chance to accord me any kind of just normal friendship you know because so, he's a married man and you are also in in a public figure and you're also a person who your character will force you to display your feelings that is who you are nyako you don't hide how you feel and he knew the dangers so, of that so d in this case who do we blame in a case that a married man pia yeye anajua i'm married and uh, he he or she we am talk of married also entertains the relationship so who who is to be blamed in that case in that uh, case scenario uh, uh, if a person is single and a person is married a person who is married should be mm-hmm. able to set their boundaries clear and tell mm-hmm. you that they are married and yeah, i blame what? my followers for bringing muhesh on board <laughs> this is somebody Me? i didn't even know that exists No but, but me, Nyako Nyako you cannot blame your followers your I blame followers, them they brought your followers me. your followers don't <laughs> have the feelings it is you who has them your heart your heart you, you are yeah, the one who has the feelings one. Nyako but and it is you who has to take responsibility for your feelings and your actions in this, you cannot in this put case, it down on your followers in this case in this case I I blame pilot for living <laughs> living <Right. it. laughs> you blame pilot for what When he left now you see the president got distracted. Nyako let me tell you that it is through through meeting Mahesh that my feelings even just faded for pilot. I didn't care about him anymore. <laughs> And let me tell you let me tell you one thing you're also going to discover Nyako. Let yeah. me tell you. Because you're on a journey a journey a journey of growth and discovery and you're embracing leadership, you're going to discover a lot of things about yourself that you did not know. You're going to discover how to attract high quality men who deserve you and respect you and be with you for who you are. You're going to discover how to love the right way and how to attract men who will love you the right way. But I can way. take care of a man. I can. No, I mean you can take care of a man but a man can also take care of you so that you both enjoy each other. So as you are growing and as you're going into this journey of leadership and discovery, I'm telling you, you're going to be a better and a, and a most attractive version of yourself that men will be at your disposal to choose. So you need to embrace that power because that is what you have. You need to embody it so that you can attract high quality men. So it's up to you. You're going to make that choice. And that's why we are walking this journey with you. Ati ni meka ukiwa. No. Yes. So this time round, find someone who's taking care of you. Mtu anakupikia breakfast in bed, nini nini. You've been yeah, doing this with these people. Yeah, you, so you, you try don't something need... different. Yeah. Try something different whenever ni itakuwa because you've been submitting so much to these people so and and, and you don't need to do that you don't need to struggle when you're in a relationship you don't need to labor when you're in a relationship you need to be happy yeah. relationships say kwa too smooth inaenda tu peke yake wewe well, ndio unafanya kazi kwa relationship you are trying to make things work you trying to make the marriage look good and beautiful yet that is not really why you should kwa hivyo mtaki ni umishwe hata kidogo ni umishwe tu then i tell me kwa adit ni ni utaumishwa na utaumiza roho usiumisha alafu out of blast anaona ako kabodi nikikaekelea chini nini nini so you see ukimumisha ni hivyo inaisha hivyo kitu moja inatuumiza hata sisi kama wanawake wa african women hata if you pay attention to what we understand as good sex it's it's a very violent version of it It's a very violent version of it because as African women we are not taught how to be receiving good things how to be treated right how to mm. be showered with gifts msichana mwa Kiafrika akinunuliwa hata gari anashtuka sana because ana feel her deserve it akipatiwa kitu nzuri apewe pesa anashtuka kidogo because we have never been taught how to receive good things And this is why I'm telling Nyako that she needs to take that back seat when it comes to relationship and evaluate 
everything she's getting involved with when it comes to men. Are you getting with, involved with men who are going to be adding value in your life by making you happy? Making you feel like when you go to bed, you think about them. You know what I'm saying? Mamu, she needs viewers, period. Not here. So you need to, you need to. She will drop you once he gets the fame. Mwe, is already famous here on TikTok because of Nyako. You deserve happiness. You're a queen. So you need queen treatment. Treatment You are crowned a president. Have you ever seen a president that is struggling to find love? Have you? You have been home on your side. Sailor so, works. So if you if you call yourself a president, you need to be attracting men of presidential value. <laughs> that is a politician red flag. <laughs> Comment section. <laughs> But when it's done, I don't know. Last time, last time, last time we had a discussion, yes. with Nyako, she said, uh, This summer she's taking a break. Of course, I'm taking a break. That is true. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Yeah. Yeah. You, know, on the people, break, yeah. you know, when East African <laughs> ladies, mm -hmm. and, uh, we struggle, Sana, because to mezoe are red flags. Even when this white guy tells you something, for example, Akini Mesao, my wallet. You see it as a red flag, but uh, in real sense, new kweli, He doesn't mean that you have to pay for the for the dinner or something. Whatever you've said is very correct. As Africans, to na struggle sana, especially to kienda maju. So in a quite yeah. troublesome. Sana. And also you've remember said, when we when we come out here, like in America, I'll talk about it. The the, the reason why a lot of people are struggling, and we, okay. we end up saying that kuna ukame, ukame ya wanaume hata hapa America, is because we are so used to sleeping with our fellow Africans. You understand? Mm -hmm. We are used to having sex with our fellow Luos or Kikuyus or mm -hmm. Luyas, and then we mm -hmm. are culturally, you know, um, you know, and grind to being with. By the people. way, Diana. Yes. You see, you queen. Me, I don't. Do black well, yani una jo well, I don't do black dicks. You the know last what? time I did one. Mm. Ili ni pepeta karibu mgongo ivunjike. But do you know? Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why you don't subscribe to to, to that that notion? Because coming from Kenya you left because you were already from your story Ujaniambia, but from what you've been saying you already were used to interacting with white people even in kenya so mm. that's the difference, that the so, difference but yeah. people like us who are used to interacting with 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 uh, bl black and african men even in kenya ukikuja hapa utaona kama unataka tu kutafuta huyo mjaluo unataka tu kutafuta mluya na uko america kichwa yako hiyo ndogo kukapata anything outside of the norm so it's important for you to now open the white cast your net wide so that you start looking for people around where you are umetoka kenya come and date an american date a white person usitafute mluya na uko pennsylvania tafadhali utampata utaka hivyo tu start looking into something different from what you're used to but nyako on your case, tough time to anakufanya breakfast in bed. Mtu anakwekia petals, eh? mkienda mechi, unapata tu petals. <laughs> but that's your hizo. breakfast. Mimi nyako, I will tell you plain and simple. Look for a wealthy mm -hmm. man, a person who is wealthy. A person who is wealthy, ata ikifika mahali ya tisasa, ata munaachana, at least there is something that you're going to gain from that relationship. You need to plan. You know, one of the things we are not taught na naona watu wanafundishu hata hapa. Even when you're getting into Mutu a relationship with someone. Mutu wanasema tihuja kwa na tompu wanga tu hapa. Kwa ni mimi ni wakue. Unawa. Haka ni kitompu wa. How does it affect your life? Yeah, so unajua. Mind your business. Relationship. Yes, yo hita inamuwesha. Kuma ni yangu. Ina kuhusu nini? Yeah, eh. kunini, kunini ni poa, ku, ku, kutombwa is okay, it's, it's something we want women to enjoy. But at the end of the day, a relationship cannot just be about kutombwa. There is so much that comes with it. But uh, see, you see... Hakuna, hakuna <laughs> landlord mwenye naulizanga kutombwa kama rent at the end of the month. We need to see. be realistic. Mm. You see, you can find a wealthy person, but anaku treat like trash, anaku piga, anaku disrespect. So what's what's the whole point of finding a wealthy person 
na hata kwa hiyo relationship uko tu stress unarudi tu stress square one so you can find a wealthy person let me ask you let me ask you if you if you find a poor person mwenye anakupiga na unalala njaa na analala na wewe ni kama wewe ni punda alafu tena mm -hmm. compare to a rich a wealthy person mwenye anaku abuse when you choose to leave either relationship which one will give more benefit to you tell me heri mtu aliye kwa ndege private jet exactly you know it's very easy for you to to gain from when you're living a, a wealthy abusive person to gain something from it than when you're living a, a poor man just Very because true. the poor man was able to have sex with you and also we need to we need to be self-aware as women about sex because um sex is something that if you don't understand your body as a woman and enjoy it yourself and discover yourself as a woman you are going to only know a beautiful version of sex from what men have taught never, you never thank you thank you uh -huh. sure. and it's going to be, uh, women are very good at faking uh, faking organism yeah so organism. make sure so that you, you need both to enjoy some of the women if you talk to them you realize a lot of women don't even know how their vaginas look like they don't know mm -hmm. how how to ata ukimuliza have you ever touched yourself and known how you feel or even touched Ati mtu anasema a lesbian can fit me uko na ubongo kwe you know so you how need, do they feel how they, how do they feel in their private areas if so they you know, don't as, want as women we need to discover mm -hmm. our bodies before we give our bodies to men so that you know yourself mm -hmm. Because if we, if, if men discover, this is the problem to Konayo. A lot of us keep ourselves to Navanga, hizo masuralizetu za white, to Naoga, to Najifunga, alafu, hakuna kitu unajua hata juu ya vagina. Then, the next thing you know, ni mwanaume. Eh? Mule ya mungine mkali ya mekula miwa properly, ndia naenda na kugundua. So, the only, the only version of sex unajua is the violent one. And that is a problem that we do have as women. And so we struggle so much to even identify with men sexually because what we understand as sex is not really sex, it's violence. But yeah, you should learn to do this. Because the ingine monahume na kuliza, what turns you on? Hata ujui. Yeah, because no one... You remember there's a time, there's a time Nyako said, alishika, aliguza uko chini, Akaskia, akaskia kitu tofauti. So, you should know your body as a woman. Very correct. You need to know your body and you need to know the erotic parts in your body. Unajua, you need to know the parts zenye mtu akiguza unaskia vizuri. So, but these are things you have to discover yourself as a woman before you give yourself to any man. It's very important. So, one of the biggest issues that we have as women from Africa is that we are not even free to talk about our bodies. We don't talk about intimacy with honesty. We don't share. We don't share about our our sexual experiences in a way that we are educating each other. And this is making us um, make poor choices in men. And you see when Nyako tells you, oh, ukiambia you guys these things, mnaona ni matusi, mkona bado yo African mentality. So ukienda mayu, inaku affect kinda. So you should, tazingine unasikiza tu. Si matusi, Ma, that's the ama, reality. Ama, nora uma, who runs away from his traditions and culture, hmm? should be, he's not a man. Hmm? The Maju is just about a place, but I, I still, personally, as a, as, as a Uka, I still believe that our traditions as people, our culture as Africans, should not be, we should not <coughs> belittle be our culture once you get outside your country, you know? For yeah. instance... What's wrong with uh, falling in love with a married man? How does it belittle your, your culture? Hmm? Actually, falling in love with a married man, Awuka, is just an embodiment of our culture. Our culture is, is polygamous. It, it encourages that? Yeah. So what well, are you well, talking about? Well, just a My minute. My grandfather had 12 wives. Very true. What are you yeah, talking so, about? So that now? is a cultural thing for us as Africans. The, the so traditional... In the traditional African culture, of course, having so many wives, so many cows, so many whatever, were that was from... that was the pride of Lewis. <laughs> but, but do you know your culture? 
Where? But do you know, Nyako, let me tell you, in the olden days, uh, polygamy was very beneficial to our people in the olden days because the 